just wondering where God was in all of this. You know, like it just seems like you're born into this horrible existence. Like, was there a plan before you guys came down that you agreed to and a, a meaning to it? God's you know? always in the same place all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what? God's always in the same place all the time. Just whether we're not going to be wanting to be with God. They want to have a desire for God. God doesn't disappear. I mean, we disappear from God. So. But in answer to your question, yeah, there is a plan, obviously. And, you know, one of the reasons why we've returned is because it's God's plan, not ours. Um, but uh, God had, God's original plan is what God wants to re-establish, basically. And man, through the issue of self-reliance, has walked away from that plan. And so if we can re-establish God-reliance in a person's attitude and life, then what happens is that a lot of these errors and badness and all this evil that we experience and all these really sad emotions and grieving emotions and all this pain that we're experiencing, the next generations of people will never ever need to even experience them. So you'll get to a point in a few generations if, you know, if things go as planned, you'll get to a point in a few generations where there'll be people born on earth with no emotional injuries at all. And that was the original plan. <laughs> And yeah, there's a common concept that uh, we come here to work through emotional injuries, but that's not true. We came, the, the, the physical is the, is the um, you could call it the nursery of the soul. And so God's original intention was that the nursery of the soul was perfect, just like all other parts of his universe. And it still is perfect, but harmed by man's choice to walk away from God. But we, these injuries of the soul create the imperfections that we see in the universe around us. If we can allow ourselves to work through those injuries, then what happens is everything comes very, very clear very rapidly. So God, God's intention was to have the earth free of injuries, but every person... Remember, the, the point of incarnation is not to pay for karma, but the point of incarnation is to get individualization, is to actually become consciously aware of yourself as an emotional being. So that's the point of incarnation. And that, that's what this physical universe accomplishes. The actual, the actual individualization of each one of us. We become individuals and then we grow as individuals through our, you know, throughout history, throughout the future, but also in the spirit world, throughout the dimensions as well. So that's the point of incarnation. The point of incarnation isn't to come here to have a bad experience so you learn something. That's not the point of incarnation. But that is a common theory that is proposed today. When you think about it, it's not a very loving theory, mm -hmm. is it? Like, would you create a whole amount of children and then force them to go through all of these terrible, traumatic, emotional, negative experiences just so they learn something? You wouldn't do that to your own child, so why would you feel that God would do that to you? So the, the truth is actually that God created a perfect universe for the nurturing of the soul and a perfect physical space for the nurturing of the soul. But man's free will choices cause man to go in this spiral of degradation, walking away from God. And that is what is causing our pain. That is what is causing the evil. And that is what is causing all of our emotional pain that we're now needing to work through. It's not that God originally intended that because in, in, in other worlds, God, uh, like people are born with no emotional injuries and they spend years, I mean like hundreds and hundreds of years in their physical state, working through all the different things, enjoying their life and then pass into the spirit state and, and so forth without these injuries occurring that are occurring here on earth.